Speaking of founders building in the United States, Eigenlayer <laughs> and EigenDA are currently on mainnet. Yeah. Uh, so sh shifting gears here a little bit. So after a successful testnet and passing $13 billion in TVL, Eigenlayer has turned on some of its switches. Not all of them. So like, like the Eigenlayer brand, the Eigenlayer cautiousness, they are slowly rolling out their mainnet. Uh, so some things have been turned on. Other things are still to be turned on. Uh, so what are the things that have been turned on? Uh, restakers can now delegate their ETH, their restaked ETH, to their operator of choice. Operators, what are operators? These are the people who run AVSs. Operators can now register with Eigenlayer and opt in to run AVSs. And then AVSs themselves can now register with the protocol, starting with EigenDA, which has already done this, which is now online. Remind so people that is what the news. AVS is too, David. An AVS, Actively Validated Service. It's basically an Eigen app. Uh, think software as a service plus crypto economic security of ETH. So you are just a software normal SaaS business, but you can add trust into your service offering uh, by integrating with Eigenlayer as an AVS. So it's an Eigen app. One of the biggest apps to launch as well is this homegrown uh, application, a data availability application called yes. EigenDA. And that has yeah, also it, launched this week. What, what are the details yes. behind EigenDA? Yes. Well, in order for Eigenlayer to launch, at, at least one AVS needs to be online or else what does it even mean to launch? Uh, Eigenlayer, EigenDA is the only incubated uh, self-incubated uh, AVS out of the Eigenlayer team. It's kind of, it actually just makes perfect sense as like, um, a eigenlayer needs to like kind of dog food its own project. Uh, EigenDA uh, just m is the most proximate. Like it's the, it's the best AVS to really get this whole system started. All uh, Ethereum rollups need DA, basically mm -hmm. really cheap DA. So why not do it totally. here? But yeah, and also specifically, there is like a very close um, relationship between the concept of DA and coordination. Uh, and and Sriram just loves coordination. Eigenlayer is like this big coordination app. If you really like want to zoom out and get kind of like um, cosmic about it. Uh, and so EigenDA is now online, which now many of the rollups who have been like positioning to consume EigenDA are now consuming EigenDA, like projects like Mantle, um, many, many, many others. Uh, and so that is the big news. Uh, there are things that um, are not uh, online right now. Uh, so in protocol payments from AVS to operators, which is like everyone is, ex why is everyone excited about Eigenlayer? Because it gets yield. Uh, yield is not turned on. Payments, like paying uh, for the AVS services, not yet turned on. That'll be coming soon. Uh, and also slashing. Uh, and so there, there is actually really no uh, notion of like slashing in EigenDA. Um, uh, but like slashing is a very core primitive of the Eigenlayer system. To, so to really have like all cylinders of the Eigenlayer app, the Eigenlayer system running, uh, you need these two things to, to get turned on. Uh, and then also many, many more uh, AVSs. 10 AVSs are currently on the Holsky testnet. Uh, and so like they're all trying to get online as soon as possible here. So there's a lot, there's like, there's going to be like a series of these announcements of like I, even more about the Eigenlayer system is online. Uh, but this is very much the big one. We are now through the first big hurdle. No word on a token yet, of course, not publicly. Oh, of course not. Uh, first, first we go mainnet and then, then maybe something else later. I, um, I think what's really interesting to me here is how EigenDA is going to compete against Celestia. Right, and how totally. all that's going to maybe compete against um, totally. you know, blob space, but reportedly EigenDA is like five x has five x the through capa throughput capacity of Celestia even, uh, and I I'm sure Celestia will upgrade. I'm sure that will change, but it'll be a a race for that. And some pretty big layer twos are um, set up to use EigenDA. So Mega ETH, that's like one that's coming on the scene. Movement Conduit, uh, these are rollups as a service. Uh, Caldera, all of these. So um, some early traction for sure. I also like um, Sriram's framing of this. You know, he thinks like abstractly, almost philosophically about these things and his take in general on the stack that we are building in crypto, at least from the Ethereum right. perspective is Ethereum is the verifiable internet. Rollup is the verifiable web server. AVS is the verifiable software as a service, it's SaaS. And Eigenlayer is the verifiable cloud. And then he goes through kind of like some more hot, details what that means. Hot, hot, hot. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty good take, I think. Yeah, uh, there was just like a big like celebration in the crypto space because like Eigenlayer has already like produced its own ecosystem of like startups. Like every AVS is a startup. Operators are le leveraging this. So there's a lot of people like hooking into the Eigenlayer uh, ecosystem. So there's like a one just big grand celebration. It's like, hey, Eigenlayer team, congrats for for launching. Uh, and they're like, is this, there's this like meta that emerged of just like people would retweet the Eigenlayer announcement tweet with their like selfie with Sriram. 
So I just put it into a collage. Oh my god! I just put it all together. <laughs> there were so many, Sweet dude. Wrong selfies. It turned into this meme of just like Vitalik. number one. Uh, congrats to the Eigenlayer team for launching on mainnet. Number two, here's my selfie with Sri Ram. <laughs> <laughs> and so I just took a screenshot of every single well, one he's such and a, just put Sri it into Ram's a single such a picture. Guy, he's, he's, he's a, he, he, one I, of the most beloved founders I've ever seen in the crypto space. Yeah, I, I really, I really enjoy uh, Sri Ram. I, I think one one thing that's interesting about this, David, I, I'm gonna see. Um, we'll, we'll see how this emerges. It's kind of like the ETH holder alignment behind Eigenlayer. Okay, so mm-hmm. um, if you were an ETH holder, just like economically, rationally, what's good for my bags uh, type of right. question, then what's good for your bags is rollups using um, Ethereum for uh, a blob space, essentially, and using Ethereum as a DA layer, right? That's good for your bags. It's not good for your bags if rollups start using uh, Celestia DA, because that's True. not Ethereum. But right. it is good for your bags. It is good for ETH price or fundamentals if they use Eigen DA. True. And I'm wondering how sticky that magnet will be in crypto at all. Like y- y- you could see the ETH community and ETH holders at least pushing Eigen DA over Celestia because it's more Certainly. economically aligned. It's in their incentives to do so. Did I just yeah. say some like dirty words uh, like on the show today? I mean, that, that's just an incentive <laughs> that's at play, right? You said some tribal words, which okay. I don't think either of us have ever <laughs> avoided prior to this. Uh, I did do an episode with uh, Nick White uh, yesterday about Celestia, and like Celestia has a project really, really interesting. Um, however, as a fan of Ethereum alignment, I can be <laughs> also super interesting. As an ETH bag holder. <laughs> as an ETH bag holder, yeah. Um, I, well, there are just fundamentally different uh, properties about Celestia versus EigenDA, where like EigenDA, Celestia is a blockchain, EigenDA not a blockchain. Yeah. So it has the lug- luxury of just truly optimizing for an absolute magnitude of capacity where Celestia has like consensus and like sovereignty and some like other things that it is interested in. Yeah, which makes it, which like makes these things like uh, materially divergent, right? Like there could be a world of like eigenlayer rollups that are just completely independent from Ethereum rollups, uh, and so it makes sense that Ethereum rollups would opt for eigen DA um, just because it's close to the heart, right? It's like close to the, close to the nexus. What's this? What's this tweet you uh, you included in our list here? Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so this is actually kind of like a moving on to a new subject, but is the new subject is an AVS, uh, and so this is Omni Network, which is an AVS inside of the Eigenlayer ecosystem, uh, and this is one of like the big uh, predictions I've been making about uh, Eigenlayer and my strategy this bull market, which is not to speculate in meme coins because I don't got that kind of time, and I'm like actually just bad at it. You want to speculate um, on restaking, don't you? I want to I want to speculate on restaking. restaking. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Uh, and so the Omni Omni Network, which is an AVS on top of Eigenlayer, which uh, provides just uh, interoperability and, and defragmentation of the Ethereum rollup space by providing economic security between between rollups, okay. uh, is dropping uh, 13.3% of their total ag- allocation going to Eigenlayer wow. restakers. Ooh. 13.3%. This is an air This is the, a drop. It's not just points. This is, this is an actual airdrop of a real token, not just points. Huh. Um, 10% going to Beacon Chain Solo Stakers, 7.7% going to Miladies, and 5.7% going to Pudgy Penguin. So giving away like an aggressive amount of the tokens, 13.3% of that is going to Eigenlayer Restakers. Uh, and so like the idea, the, the whole thesis behind the Eigenlayer like uh, point farm, which is like you farm the Eigenlayer token, you farm the LRT that you're using to farm the, the Eigenlayer token, and then in the background you have these like like plethora of AVSs that are all going to airdrop to the restakers of which this is one I think the first one that's actually happened and is now happening so and all you have to do is stake your ETH and all you have to do is stake it again double staking again. <laughs> <laughs> no restaking not <laughs> double staking <laughs> why didn't double staking catch on uh, <laughs> to continue leveling up your crypto game then you need to get on the Bankless newsletter it's the world's most popular crypto email and is completely free just click below to sign up